My name is Hilda Effiong Basi. I'm 27 years old. I'm from Akraibom State, Nigeria. I am the Guinness World Record holder for the longest cooking marathon by an individual. Obviously, the cookathon itself, oh God. I had, I had felt a lot of fear. I had a couple panic attacks. I think I had about three panic attacks before the event itself. But then on the first day, I never actually said this. You know, I was dealing with a lot of ex exhaustion, but I was also dealing with a great wave of fear. So there was like, I think it was about five or six hours in when I looked up and I had seen the press, I saw the people. Basically, I could see the investment that I had put in and everybody else had put in. And then I feel like the devil just said to me, what if you fail? What's going to happen if you fail? And that was so, like, it was so profound that the fear of failure built up a huge level of anxiety in me that my hands were shaking. It was really difficult for me to continue and I wanted to just end it at that point. I don't know if this makes any sense, but I'm very ahead ahead in terms of thinking. So once there's a problem, I don't, I'm an alarmist too, don't get me wrong, like I would scream, cry, shout. But right after that initial reaction, I'm thinking of the next step. It's like, how do we move forward? How do we like, basically, what's the solution? How can we get this, you know, going? I think for me, it's always because I'm very focused on the goal. So I'm very, very focused on what I'm trying to do. So that just keeps me moving. So even at the points where we weren't getting a lot of re like positive responses from brands and you know, all that and the team, I remember having a meeting with the team and I said to them, you know what, these brands are not coming on board. Like it's, it's a business, right? Let's just focus on what we need to get and how we can get the event itself happening. We can deal with this later. So it was very much what is ahead of you is bigger than what is going on right now. So I'll say that that was just it, just focusing on what's in front of me and just keeping it moving. It's easier said than done, by the way. I just needed to put that around there. Yeah. Honestly, honestly, we're just flexing on them. And I say we because left to me, I wouldn't have actually done a hundred hours. But I feel like my friends and my brother, my family, everyone was feeling a bit too pompous at this point because it's like, she's broken the record, oh, 96, she's going to go 100. We can just give them an extra, you know, four hours. And it was a really good thing because if I didn't actually do that extra four hours, I would have only broken the record by three hours and a couple minutes. Honestly, just about how powerful it was, just how many people were invested in this dream of mine. It just tells me that, you know, like, I can actually do anything. So achieving this gives me way more confidence in all the other really big dreams that I have. I remember just applying, getting the approval, looking at it and saying attempt. And then now when I open my dashboard, it says record holder. It feels amazing. Living a life with no limits is just it's, it's not assuming that these limitations are not there, but it's important to just put, push through them. So don't focus on the problem. Be solution driven. I have trained myself to be very solution driven. So when there's an issue, I'm thinking of how to fix it, how to move forward. If it's something I have to jump and pass, I jump and pass. So don't sit down and feel sorry for yourself because in truth, feeling sorry for yourself doesn't help you. It doesn't help anybody else. So like you need to want the best for yourself. And because I want the best for myself, that pretty much pushes me to strive. I honestly believe that everyone has their own unique journey of breaking barriers. Me, I've shared my own no limit story with you. It's your turn to share your own no limit story with me so that you can inspire me too. I mean, that's hoping that this video you just watched inspired you and feel free to tag me so that I can see the video and I can draw inspiration from you. It's important to note, your dreams are very much valid. I will go for it. Oh, oh, go. No limits, go for it.